Hey everyone, so I just got done filming this tutorial. It's a silver smoky eye and um, I think it's really pretty. It's kind of a cool color. I think it's cool because it kind of matches my eyes a little bit, and especially because I'm wearing like a blue here and a blue shirt, so it just fit in like blue bracelets, so blue is kind of all around me. Um, so it's just a little bit blue shimmery um, and it's gray and it's just a really cool color, so I really, really like it. Um, so yeah, it's just a really simple, neutral, smoky eye that is, I would totally wear this during the day. It's not like a nighttime smoky eye at all. It's not like, whoa, well, you're wearing makeup, you know. It's a really, really cool look. So I hope you guys find this useful and are able to wear it places and end up liking it just as much as I did. And yeah, it, I, um, I started unpacking my room with all my stuff in it. Oh my gosh, like it's going to take me forever to unpack all this stuff. Like I have huge boxes just full of stuff that I just need to like sort through. I'm kind of being really lazy and I'm like not a lazy person. I like like to have everything done and like make sure everything is you know on time and in order and organized and I'm just slacking. I'm a slacker but it's summer. I just got done with like the busiest semester slash year of my life. Like I was just so like hectically stressed. I don't even know if you can be hectically stressed but if you can that's what I was. And it was just nuts, like crazy. So yeah, I feel like now it's time to unwind and kind of, you know, take everything one step at a time, just slowly not stress out about anything. So I'm taking my time. I'm enjoying my time off. Let's just say that. But yeah, so I hope everybody has a great day and I'll post a tutorial as soon as I can. Um, but yeah, so let's get into this look. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Beijing Shade Stick. Um, it's just one of these by MAC. It's just a really, really light, shimmery color. It's very, very light. And I'm just going to put it all over my lid. This is kind of an eyeshadow base, but I think I use this one more for the color rather than creasing. Oh, guys, I forgot. I primed my lid. For my lad. I primed my lid with um, NARS eye primer, but I totally forgot to show you that stuff again. I'm going to have to get better at that. But anyways, so I just put Beijing all over my eyelid, and it's just a really pretty shimmery color. You can kind of see it's not really a huge pigmented color or anything. It's just really, really neutral. So I'm going to put that all over my lid. Um, just kind of blend out if you like. feel like it, there's bunches of color or it's just kind of not smooth because sometimes shimmer or not shimmer sticks um shade sticks tend to have kind of a weird consistency sometimes like I have one called shark skin and it's a dark dark grayish black color and it's really like a sparkly consistency and it doesn't blend very well and this one I think blends really well and I really like this one so it's kind of like depends on what color you get um I only have like four or five shade sticks so I don't really know and a lot of them were limited edition so it's kind of hard for me to say, but I'm, I'm not a huge shade stick fan. I don't buy a whole bunch of them, but I like them and I use them. Um, so I'm, right now I'm going to take Electra. This is um, going to add like the silvery, uh, like the silvery blue part to this look. Um, Electra is just like a bright um, silver blue color, obviously, if it's going to add the silver and the blue to <laughs> this look. Um, and I'm just going to put it on my lid with my 239. And what I'm going to do is just kind of bring it into the inner corner, because you definitely can put this one on the inner corner. And I just put it all over my lid. So making sure that it's even and, you know, there's no crazy, like, lines or anything. And um, just put it all over your lid. Just like that. Can you guys see that? Or my bangs in the way? But yeah. So just put it all over your lid. Pop this back into my palette. And then what I did is I took Copper Plate, which is this really, really pretty matte gray. That's all it is. It's just a really matte gray, like dusty gray color. And I just put this on the outer um, corner. Actually, I put it on more like the outer third. So I'm just going to put this, just place it from here to the outside. So I'm just going to take this and... Just kind of make sure that it gets evenly coated and it covers up all the electro that was on this side of your eye. 
and the Electra under this is going to show through and it's just going to have kind of a shimmery look. Oh my gosh, I just got this all over my face. I took the finger that I swatched the color with and I blended it under my eye and I just got copper plate all over. But that's why you bring concealer to help fix it. So, after copper plate's kind of in the corner, just like that, I'm just going to take a little tiny bit of black tide. I was thinking about using bows and curtsies for this, um, which is like a dark hunter green color. It's a limited edition with the, my phone just went off. It's limited edition with a um, fashion flower collection, but I decided I was going to stick with black tide and I just got a little bit on the very corner of my 239 and I'm just going to put it in the very outer V. So just very, very lightly because you don't want this super dark look. So see how I just darkened that outer part? Now I'm going to blend it all together. I like to put a little bit of Electra on this because I want this look lighter than dark if you want it darker than light, which I'm not even sure if that makes sense, but <laughs> um, if you want the look like to be more dark, I would um, maybe go out with the copper plate instead of Electra. I'm just kind of blending it out with Electra just because I don't mind lightening up this look a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend all of this together. For this, I'm using the MAC 224. You don't need the MAC 224. I know Smashbox has a really good blending brush that I kind of want to buy. Um, but I'm just going to use the MAC 224 because I really do like this brush, but by no means this is the only brush that can do this. I'm just going to take a little bit of concealer just to kind of clean up that under eye. Um, that corner because I kind of messed it up completely. I didn't even need concealer on the other eye because I can usually do this pretty clean, but this eye got a little crazy. I got a little crazy when I was doing this eye. I did. I got a little bit crazy. But, um, so I'm just going to blend this out a little bit more. There, that looks about even. So after I did that, I actually, this is kind of a weird step, but I feel like it enhanced the color of my eyes. I added a little bit of Twinks to the outer, like, V. Um, Twinks is just a dark purple, I mean purple, a dark brown. This is definitely not purple. Can you see that? Not purple. It's a dark brown. And I just kind of put it on the outer V, like, more towards the top of the V. So it kind of blended into my skin color up there. Just like that. And then I just took a little bit more tweaks and just blended this out. You can do circles if you want to kind of blend everything together. I tend to do windshield wiper motions just because I feel like it's easier. But it's really whatever works for you. Completely whatever works for you. I'm going to just take, look at how bad I got sunburned. I didn't even, I do not sunburn either. Like barely at all. And I'm like a burnt. Like, look at that. That is not good. But um, I'm just gonna take Ploof, my or Ploof, guys. I did it. Oh my gosh, Ploof. I'm going to take Ploof. This is like never gonna end. I'm just always gonna call it Ploof. Can I just call it Ploof from now on? <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna take a little bit of Ploof on my 224, and I'm just gonna use this as my highlight color. This is my for sure my favorite highlight color. I think that this just blends everything out so nicely. I like can't not use this color. It's so pretty. So This one, this look is a little bit shimmery. So after I put that on, I tend to go over a little bit of it with either rice paper or brulee. Brulee is a satin finish, so it's a, like even less shimmery than rice paper is. Rice paper, I believe, is a frost. Don't quote me on that because I'm not entirely sure. No, I'm pretty sure it's a frost. I'm pretty sure, but I don't know, and I'm not positive. But yeah, so after I blended out with the highlighter, now this I did this on the other eye. I just went um, through and just put a little bit of concealer right underneath. Because sometimes when you blend, you get a little crazy. So I'm going to make sure you have a nice clean line, just like on this side. Nice clean line. Then what I did is I lined my eye with Black Track by MAC. Ugh, I love this eyeliner. Don't even get me started. I could seriously talk about this eyeliner all day. I'm sure you guys know how amazing MAC's gel liners are. 
I just can't get over them. I actually, a lot of people, actually a lot of people, like three people, were wondering what brush I use. I use the 208 by MAC. It's the very, like the tiny, tiny, tiny guy. Like here's my 239. Here's the 208. Like this guy's a baby. He is little. And um, I use him to line my eyes. And this is so tiny. You have so much control with this brush. It's insane. So I don't know how well you guys can see me line this, but I'm just going to go ahead and start. And I just kind of make little strokes like this across my eye. And I'm just going to get a little more product on here. And I'm just going to line it again. And then sometimes I just flip over to this side of the brush and I just smooth everything out to make sure it's not like crazy lines. So after I line my eye, now I, it's like very late at night, like it's 12.35 at night here. Um, but I'm doing this look anyways because I think it's so pretty. And I actually wore this the other day to the movies with my friends. So it's really versatile look. But um, yeah, so I already, I was like, why did I get on that subject? But um, I already put mascara on my eyes, so I don't really need a whole lot of mascara, but I'll still put a little bit on. So I'm just going to curl my lashes before I put my mascara on and after, because it's going to hold the curl a lot more if I do that. So I'm just using CoverGirl Lash Plus Volume, I believe this is what this is, but um, I'm not a huge fan of this one. It's okay. The brush is kind of cool. It's like really, really big. If you're into like volume... This is good for you, hence why it's called Flash Plus Volume. But um, I like lengthening more, so I'm more into lengthening mascaras. So. But I really like that one. It's like a very good volumizing mascara. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to curl my eyelashes one more time. This one like, looks like there's no mascara on it, but I did put mascara on it. Um, yeah, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of blush. Um, this is Pinch of Peach, and it's one of my favorite summer blushes. It's like a really pretty peachy color, and what I kind of like about this, okay, so right now I have nothing on my lips, like this is my natural lip color, and it like matches, don't you think a little bit, like, not matches, but it at least goes with it, right? I think so. So I'm just going to put a little bit of blush on my cheeks. I don't really need to smile to put blush on my cheeks. I kind of know exactly where the blush goes on my face. But it's weird because if I'm putting, like, today I put on blush, I was helping my sister do her makeup. Like, helping my sister do her makeup, it sounds like she's little. She's 22, so <laughs> she's not a baby by any means. But, um, I was helping, I was doing her makeup for her. And I was like, I don't know where your, like, blush area is. Like, you have to smile. She's like, what? And I was like, I don't know. I can't. I have to be able to, I don't know. I've done it for so many times to myself, I can just kind of put it on. But yeah, so um, I actually don't really think I have a whole lot else to do. Whoa, I just moved the camera. That was good. But I was trying to... Oh my gosh, I'm dropping everything. I was trying to buy my lip balm. Um, I'm just finishing off with Burt's Bees. And then I get all the... For some reason I had like powder on my lips. That was weird. Um, I'm just finishing off with Burt's Bees. I love this chopstick. It's my favorite. I'm obsessed with pretty much everything Burt's Bees, but... Um, I especially like this chopstick. Um, and I do think it kind of makes my lips just smooth. It feels good. If they're chapped, like I went to Lake Hens Farm Sunburn. Um, and my lips got really like sore. And this morning when I was washing my face, the hot water was like really irritating my lips. It was not good. So I definitely like Burt's Bees on days like this. Kind of stings for a little while, but it feels good. Like it's definitely soothing. So that's good. So this is the look. I don't really think. I have anything else to say, um, but, um, yeah, so I hope everybody has a good Saturday tomorrow. You're either off of school or off of work, or maybe you work or you have to go to school, but make the best of it, and have a great weekend, everybody, and I'm sure I'll, I mean, I'll post a video soon, so, okay, have a great day. Bye.